the national propaganda strategy has been implemented. And of course, over the last week, Joe Biden has rolled out his team. But the point is, no one knows who's on his team or what their agenda is. But we're going to touch on it today. So I just want to take a quick minute to share with you something that was shared with me today that is very alarming. It has to do with an article that was entitled Vax the Blacks. And of course, it has to do with this young lady right here over my show, Luciana Borio, and some of the documentation that she's associated with and how strategic it is towards getting needles into the arms of minorities. So last Monday, Joe Biden rolled out his task force as to who he wants to oversee this current COVID pandemic. And so I came across an article here, Change in America, Meet Biden's Coronavirus Crisis Team, tasked with combating America's surging crisis. And so scroll down here, you get ideas to who's on the team. But one person that stood out is a young lady that I mentioned, Luciana Borio, is a physician and vice president of the technical staff at InQtail, a venture capital and private equity firm focused on the U.S. intelligence community. It's a whole lot of technical stuff, a whole lot of deep state type stuff right there. She is also a senior fellow for the Global Health and Council on Foreign Relations, an independent nonprofit think tank in U.S. foreign policy and international affairs, clearly a member of the swamp. And on top of this, Mrs. Borio is not new to the whole idea of a pandemic. Here is an interesting interview she had uh, two years ago uh, about preparedness for some type of international pandemic of some sort. What's most interesting is how <laughs> it says this event will examine how the U.S. and international policies aim to reduce the risk of a 21st century equivalent of the influence of 1918. And so we've all heard a lot about how this current pandemic resembles that of the 1918 flu. But here's the actual article I want to touch on. And this is what caught me by surprise. And I appreciate the member that sent this to me. It says, Vax the Blacks, Joe Biden's COVID-19 task force members recommends withholding food stamps, rent assistance from those who refuse the current vaccine. And so it's a quite a lengthy article here, but it's all in relation to some information extracted from this documentation right here. And so here we have the public's role in COVID-19 vaccination. It says planning recommendations informed by design thinking and the social behavioral and communication scientists. So once again, propaganda tools, how can they convince people to get a needle into their arm is all this documentation is about. And it's 47 pages long. And who's the very first person that's listed as a member? Here we go right here. Luciano Borio, the vice president in InQtel amongst all these other MDs, PhDs, and you name it. So all these people here have orchestrated and put together this information here on how they can sell vaccines to the public, in particular, those that are government dependent right now. So I'm just gonna thumb through this, and of course, I'll put all this information here beneath this video for you to educate yourself further. I just want to bring it to your attention because it is very alarming to say the least. But it says, if you vote for tyrants, you get tyranny. This is what millions of Joe Biden supporters are about to discover if their candidate manages to steal the election and seize control of the White House. A prominent member of the Biden's COVID-19 task force, CIA-linked operative named Luciana Borio, says that people who refuse to be vaccinated should be deprived of food stamps, rent, and assistance. So in other words, obey or starve. He says a task force member in the question here is Luciana Borio, MD, the vice president of InQtel, CIA linked propaganda front that uses social engineering tactics to enslave humanity. She's listed as the working group of ready in populations for COVID-19 vaccines as described in a pamphlet I just mentioned. Give you an idea what's going on here. So the document says that the federal agencies should collude to develop, quote, national promotion strategy which might as well be called the national propaganda strategy, convincing people to take potentially dangerously and, and deadly COVID-19 vaccines, which have skipped any real rigorous testing. It says the document recommends that vaccine mandates get, quote, bundled with other social services, such as food stamps, rental assistance, and health care services. Local and state public health agencies should explore collaboration with interagency and non-governmental partners to bundle vaccinations with other safety net services. And go through it more talks about the need to bring in celebrities, those who 
can help steer the narrative. And it says the document even talks about blacking up the vaccine propaganda language in order to appeal to blacks and so-called anti-vaxxers. So it goes on to share here how they would do that. And it says in order to brainwash blacks and minorities into accepting dangerous experimental COVID-19 vaccine, says that the influential celebrities such as Hollywood stars and music stars should be recruited to deliver messages so that the uninformed people can be influenced. And then what's most alarming about this is where they plan on rolling the stuff out here and give you in a nutshell it says mandatory vaccine sites, grocery stores, pharmacies, schools, workplaces, senior citizen centers and churches will be also used to force vaccines on everyone. And of course, it gives more information here, but it talks about eventually. So it also says that home visits should be used to inject people on a door to door basis. In addition, workplaces, pharmacy, churches, all those things will be utilized eventually. And so this is all information that was pulled from this documentation right here. So once again, this is not my opinion. This is actually written by individuals that want to control the narrative as to how they want to put a needle into your arm. But here we have the agenda that's laid out. It's always good to know what is planned against you. Now the question is, what do you do? And of course, the first thing is to resist. The goal is to put up a front and not allow this type of things to happen. But unfortunately, a lot of people have no clue as to what's really going on. And that's why I think it's important to share information like this, share articles like this to give people the chance of being able to resist. Because more than likely, most people will comply and go along with it because all the propaganda that's put in place, all the celebrities that will be used, all the places where they will be able to go get a vaccine will be places they trust. But as more people become aware that this is all one psychological warfare slash evil conspiracy to destroy humanity, hopefully people can awake, resist and then go from there. But I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Get this video a thumbs up. Share this information so more people can find out what's going on. And of course, this is just one man's opinion. I'm curious to hear what you, what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Looking forward to reading it. Thanks.